Hey Facebook, um, I want to do a quick video, short and sweet. A lot of you all out there are saying what you're going to do next year, what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, and how successful you're going to be next year. Why are you waiting on next year? <clears throat> it's time for y'all to do it right now. Do it right now. Prepare yourself. Do it right now. If it's, if it's acting you're trying to do, get your skills together now. Brush up. Make some phone calls. Research. If it's singing you're trying to do, get in the studio. Save your money up. Most of these studios don't cost much. And not only that, if they do cost, just think about the cost that you pay for your nails, your shoes, your hair, all that. Your, your bathroom, your beauty bath and body works. $250 easily. That could be your down payment for your <clears throat> incorporation or your incorporation, depending on what you get in your package. It's time to stop writing down on Facebook. I'm going to do this. I'm about to do that. I'm about next year, next year, April, May, June, July. Do it right now. Do it now. I'm, 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 I hate to say it, but I'm just like, why? Why Why you have to wait till next year? Do it now. You want to sing? Book some places for yourself. You need a manager? Be your own manager. <clears throat> you want to act? Be your own agent until you can find one. Invest in yourself before somebody else invests in you. That's all I need to say. It's time for you guys to get out there. Book yourselves. Invest in yourself. People are not going to believe in your dream. They're going to think it's stupid. It's dumb. They're going to down talk you. They're going to try to find every reason to book for you not to do what you're doing. But you need to do it because if it's on your heart and your mind, do not let nobody stop you, especially the people that's probably saying it. Those are the ones that are lazy themselves and don't want to do anything. So you need to have faith. You keep looking for faith here, looking for faith over there, looking for your mama. Even It's sad to say, but sometimes some of y'all are blessed to have mothers to believe in what you're doing and support. But you, some of you all may not be you know, as blessed as many others to, to step out there and to actually do what you need to do. You need that support, that backbone. Guess what? Be your own support and your backbone until you can actually get a team. Even go to these networking events, you know, at the library, you know, in your local area. Make some phone calls. Find out about networking events. But you need to branch out. Time to get away from negative people. Some of y'all been trying to sing for years. Some of y'all been trying to dance. Background singers. Oh, the sky is the limit. Ain't nobody stopping us but us. And I just realized that a few years ago, about two years ago, I've always said what I want to do when I get older, what I want to do. I'm 31 now. I've been saying that since I was 11. Sure enough, yes, things happen along the way. Life happens as it happens to us all. But you all need to get up, get out, and do something. I, I'm a talk show host as well. I sing, and I've been trying to book myself at House of Blues and all other kind of stuff. People said, no, 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 no. You got to be somebody in order for people to see you nowadays, I guess. But guess what? I didn't stop there. I just kept on searching and seeking around. You have to have the backbone, even when people say no. Have the backbone to get cry for a second if you need to. And then get back up and do what you need to do. Get back up and say what you need to say. Go where you need to go. And even if certain people don't believe in you, Certain people don't believe in you. Feel where you coming from. You need to net get around some people that's going the same direction. If not, it's even a better blessing if you're hooking up with people that's already been there and done that. You can learn a lot. But networking is everything. It is so much everything. At first, I mean, I was a, I'm a talker, but not really. So when it came to networking and social networking, it was hard to like talk to people. But I, but that's where it is. You have to network, even when people say no. You have to go forward. When people say no, don't don't even take it personal because if the door don't open, that means the door wasn't for you. And and don't, you know, even even if they do look at you and say, you know what, we've got your kind. We we don't really, you know, deal with your kind of music or your kind of whatever. You may be an amazing actor to yourself. But guess what? Somebody out there wants to see you. They want you on on their front um they want you to be the star of their of the of the show. They want you to be up front and center. Somebody wants you. So just because the per people you may be reaching out to, Warner Brothers, I've reached out to even Tyler Perry Studio. I didn't get a phone call to the first, but I called them and I pretty much asked about positions and I <laughs> they laughed in my face almost. But I'm just I'm saying that to say I really need you all to like be so be so focused. In, in your hearts and be so focused in your mind and tell yourself that you're going to do it. 
I've reached out to so many people. I've reached out to so many, um, like I said, um, acting companies and stuff like that. And, and even, um, even studio prices, some of them were too high, you know, ridiculously, but their quality of work was like, you know, but you know, everybody's improving, but when you want that niche and when you can pay for everything else, I mean, it's not hard to take $200 and say, Hey, I'm going to use this money for myself. But I just was thinking about that while I was driving. I just said, oh my God, if I see another person say what they want to be two years from now, I mean, like do it now, do it right now. And I want to encourage you, please, if you need to share this video, inbox it to somebody, like even now, some people probably watching this like, oh, we ain't going to share it because she's going to go viral. Then she's going to be somebody like people. So, ugh, you know. But whatever, because if God opened the door, God opened the door. The doors that, that's open and have nothing to do with people, you know, just like Joseph in the word of God. Come on, don't get me started. Come on, he went from the pit to the palace. It really didn't have nothing to do with people. That was just God's way of saying, even though your brothers is doing you wrong, I'm watch, because the oldest, oldest about to serve the youngest in the minute. <laughs> okay, and Joseph was a man that he was humble. And, and he was caring and loving because he had the opportunity to let his brothers know, you y'all did me wrong. I'm going to do y'all wrong. But when he saw them, he cried. He was so hurt because of how they did him. Even though he was a king, you know, and he worked with um, um, Pharaoh and he was Pharaoh's right hand man. Could nobody in Egypt move unless unless Joseph said, OK, that's like favor. Come on, Egypt, Hebrews that come on, that's favor. It don't have nothing to do with people. When God puts you in a position, that's your position. Can't nobody take it. Can't nobody. And God, guess what? God don't want nobody to make your position anyway. Because when they make it, guess what? They can t tell you any moment, I'm going to take it from you. I've been there and done that. I created a position for you. Oh, I can get you to open up for such and such. Oh, I can get you to sing at this. But guess what? The moment that person got mad at me or these people got upset with me because I didn't do or or move according. It didn't have nothing to do with really the singing. It's just the fact that normally they didn't they got upset because I didn't want to do what they wanted to do. And I have a mind of my own. Yeah, I'll help. But you're not going to sucker me and make me feel like you and feel like like you using me. You know, don't people would do that too? try to ride off your name. And when they can't, then they'll destroy yours. But you know what? Been there, done that. And I'm not allowing people to 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 be control in control of my destiny, and I've been there and done. I had to go through that, you know. I had to, you know, experience that. But like I said, right now, you know, I'm Jasmine. My I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook, letting everybody know about my CD coming out. Phenomenal woman. And I'm, I hope, I pray that you all let your daughters hear it. See, I got faith and confidence in my work and what I do. And it may not sound good to you. I may suck. I may, my voice may be terrible or I may sound good to some people or I may touch somebody's heart. But then some people, guess what? You're not going to please everybody. All I know is God put it on my heart to sing and, and, and sing to people and sing and encourage women because we forgot how beautiful we are. We forgot how talented, how gifted we are. We forgot, you know, the nurturers that we are and how to be soft and how to be loving and at the same time have a voice and a mind of your own. We forgot. And I wrote a song called Phenomenal Woman to remind us women that we are somebody. We don't need anyone to validate us. We don't need anyone to tell us who we are because if we read the word of God the word of God tells us you know now I'm not saying walk around being um high-minded and walking around thinking that we're more than what you know we think we are but be humble you know because when you're humble you know God will exalt you so it's 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 a I had I, I even though I was quiet all my life as a child my mom told me and a few of my relatives you know, I do have a side of me where I do observe, but then there are another side of me to where I am outspoken, but not outspoken in a weird way. I, one thing I can't, a lot of people, they want to get far, and I want to hit on that real quick, and I'll be done. But a lot of people say, well, that's just me. That's just my attitude. That's just how I am. That's, well, being like that, that's not going to really get you nowhere, you know, I... I've I've seen so many celebrities on these on these channels and they have the nastiest attitudes and I'm like God how do they get the kind of positions they get and deserve to be nasty to the housekeeper be nasty to the new CEO or somebody who wants to buy their products because your money and you feel like your money is going to get you and it's sad because rudeness can you know people don't say nothing about rudeness but you can't be broke and rude but you can be rich and rude i, re I refuse to even though i see them doing that i'm not gonna do that because i think that's really tacky especially coming off of a woman you ought to be honored 
you know, that, that you are before people and people are screaming your name and they're buying your stuff. If it wasn't for people, you wouldn't have the money that you have to live in the nice house, to have the husband that you, you know, you know, to buy you the nice ring that you have. You, you, we have to be humble. And even as we do get to the top, please don't forget you guys to so keep God first, put him first. I know a lot of young women are going ahead of me. And even if they are doing the right thing, it's their season. And then there are some people who's not doing the right thing. And but they're still getting doors open for them. But the Bible says God said He reigns in the just as well as the unjust. But you know, uh, you know, allow God to bless people how He wants to. But one thing I know is that I rather walk in integrity than to change my image and to change who I am just to fit, fit and please. Because right now I can get I can. I can be promoted and I can make naked pictures and all other kind of stuff. And I'm so sure I'll have 20,000 followers on Twitter or at least a thousand, but I choose to keep it clean. See, people don't go off integrity no more. They don't go off of what's your character like, what's your, what's your, you know, cause I know, you know, and I know, okay, I'll sing. I can feel somebody saying, well, sing for I know you're great in all the earth. Excuse me, I just sing sung at a uh, funeral, but I'll sing another one. For your glory, I will do anything. I want to be where you are. I got to be who you are. So, yeah, that's a little bit. I mean, I, I, I sing. I, I do sing. So there you go. I do act, too. And I do a lot, but I just want to encourage the people that's watching, stay focused, keep God first. Don't look to the left, to the right. So stay focused on God. Keep him first. Integrity and character, let that be your main thing. Integrity, keep that, keep that. Your character, okay? And always serve people. Look to serve other people. And watch the doors fly open. Watch the doors fly open. See, the, the platform is so big, all of us can make it. We don't have to be jealous and hold somebody and not let people know about the positions. And, ooh, I think I think she just, I got a position for her, but I ain't going to tell her. Because she, you know, if we open the door and we serve other people and we're a blessing to other people, you'd be amazed at the, the, the response that we get back. You reap what you sow. So if you sow jealousy, you're going to reap it. If I sow an apple seed, I'm going to reap an apple seed, not bananas. So if I sow hope for somebody, peace. If I sow salvation, the harvest is going to be beautiful to me just because I watched you grow. And because I was a help to you. So if we grow up. And we see other people as helping that person. That'll be that'll be great. You never know because that person may open up that door for you. But you looked at it and thought it was about you and only you. So you missed the opportunity. So I'm, I'm done. It's 13 minutes long. So I want to say y'all stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. Do it now. Do it now. Don't wait. Get your peoples lined up. You ain't got peoples. Go ahead. Write your mission statement. Go ahead, come up with your stage name. Come up with your resume. Get you some pictures taken. You know, do what you have to do. After you get all your paperwork together and stuff like that, if you need to, even get incorporated. Got a business, get incorporated. Get you an EIN number, all that stuff. You want to act and do model, take, take, get, get you some photographer work done. If you don't got much money, ask God to show you and lead you. Then start networking to these schools if you live in the Chicago area like Columbia College because they're looking for that. They're looking for that, um, those, uh, what's the word called? The internship. They're looking for that. So, and he don't, even if so, step out of your comfort zone. That's the most important thing, too. Another thing, step out of your comfort zone. You may live in Schaumburg. You may live in uh, East Moline. You may live in Nevada, California, not California, but you may live in certain dry places. Step out of your comfort zone. You know, decide to take a family trip somewhere and to discover, but it'll happen. And also to have patience, have faith. Don't look to the left and see how fast she going. Look to the right, look to the left, right, up, down. Focus on you. Okay? I love you much. My name is Jasmine. You can check me out at I Have a Testimony um, on Facebook. I Have a Testimony. 
and I'm a talk show host pretty soon. Yes, I will be on the networks, on TV, on your Comcast, on your di- on your dish. Yes, I've spoken into existence. Not because all these other producers told me no. That has nothing to do with me. Because when somebody say yes, and I'm going to say, okay, God, that's the door right there then. Singer, all that. Singing talk show host. How about that? I love you. Until next time, I'm going to eat my McDonald's. Love you. Peace.